Man, does this map look cool! Welcome, everybody, to a map called Clift Arena. Uh, if you're familiar with the map Arena, typically you have the back wood lines, and then you've got this stone wall in front of your base. This, however, is very different. We've got a different map design. It looks very pretty, I have to say, and there's lots of different things that we can discuss in this game. But we've got eight players. That much is consistent with some of the other games we've done. And there's eight kings, and the goal, as always is to try and kill the other kings. Uh, players will be able to ally each other and enemy each other, just like in most of the games that we do. And we'll have to learn some things about the map. Uh, there are a couple things I should mention before we get into those introductions, though. So, first off, I'm not actually sure what's possible with these TCs. I'm not sure. It says trebuchet packed here, but in the actual game... It said Town Center when I was testing it. So I don't know if you can, like, go to three TCs. I kind of feel like you could be able to. And yes, you can see here, blue is unpacking Town Centers. So, uh... In Dark Age, you could have a lot of Town Centers, apparently. Um, the other thing to mention... Is that you have Fish Traps. And the Fish Trap is kind of like a, um... It's, like, it's a defense mechanism. It is a defensive bomb that would go off in your area... If someone is within your space, you can use that one time and then your your little defensive maneuvering. That's not a defensive maneuver, but your defensive button, your panic button, your panic switch, uh, that will be gone, right? So things to keep in mind. So you can 3TC boom in Dark Age, and then eventually if you want to use this, you can. Um, but yeah, the other things to talk about, obviously, map looks really, really cool. Um, oh, the, the other thing I'll mention, too, is you can see that these gates are here that allow entry to the other areas of the map. Uh, there's currently rocks in front of them, which means you can't make it to those areas. Those rocks will disappear when you make it to Castle Age, all right? I'm sure there'll be more things, but shout out to Xavier. Check out Clift Arena on, uh, on the Mod Center if you want to check it out. All right, so um, in the purple, we have JD12 playing as the Ethiopians. Um, in the yellow, we have AF, and I guess, you know, I could say, like, you know, Salty AF, <laughs> which is, I think, what the name is supposed to mean, <laughs> but uh, we've got, we've got yellow over here playing as the Huns. Um, in the gray, uh, we have um, Nick Golfs, Nick Golfs playing as the Tootins. In the red, we have Ares Domenicus, D Domeni I can't say his name, red. Playing as Lithuanians, and he's actually in some amphibious terrain. Yes. I wonder if you can dock on this. It almost looks like there's no potential spot to dock. So it's just a change of change of design. Uh, in the teal, in the right corner, we have Sneezy, uh, which may be some of you right now. I don't know if you guys are having allergies. I don't know. Just dumb joke. Playing as the Britons. Uh, in the green, we've got Ivan. Ivan is playing as the Poles. Ooh, that could be a good sieve here. In the orange, we have Lotus Dreams playing as the Malians. And then last but not least, we have the favorite, a player who was our host here, was as we call it rigged in because I need to have a host for every game. And Ray is a player who's been in many community games over the years. He's very good in these settings. I believe he's the highest ranked player. I'll be curious to see if these people out here know how good Ray is, or at least pick up on the fact that he is strong because Randoming into Persians, a civilization with war elephants, could get pretty crazy. But look how cool this map looks. Like, I wonder how long it took to make this thing, man. This looks so cool. And the map maker told me that while he really likes random map scripts, which is typically what we use, uh, he really likes symmetry. And random map scripts don't really give symmetry, whereas this does. So you've got all these different regions, man. Like... Look at this. It's all separate quarters here. Different areas of the world. Different climates, you could say. Uh, I, I love this, man. I think, you know, one of the many things that makes Age of Empires 2 awesome is the capabilities with maps and terrains. There's so much depth to this game. So I'm excited to see how things pan out here. But yeah, I, I wanted to check, though. Is it possible to dock? So I do not believe it's possible to dock there. Um... You can't dock off of a cliff. You can't dock off of here either. Like, I, I don't think it's possible to dock at all in this, despite the amount of water you do see. So some of this is just, you know, just for looks. So, you know, one thing that I think is a big possibility in this, 
and I did try and remind all the players that this is possible, is a Wonder Victory. Uh, I was told, anyways, that Wonder Victory is possible, and you gotta trust the map maker on it, and I could definitely see someone eventually making a Wonder in their corner, and then with the, uh, the Panic Switch button, it could, if people, like, wait too long to try and go in and attack, they could just use the Panic Switch button to save themselves with the whole Wonder situation. It looks like these tiles of gold have 800. They look a little different than normal gold tiles. They look like uh, gold tiles that have been taken a bit. But it is consistent with the normal gold tile. And there's 27 tiles. So that's 21,000 gold. And then here in the stone, we've got 27 tiles of that as well. Um, okay. Uh, they're talking right now. By the way, Exploding Kings or not, nah, how was everyone's day? Good. First community game, says Yellow. Purple says, I'm doing wonderful. Uh, Red's enjoying the symmetry. And then uh, Ray says, I have a drug test for a new job in two hours. Interesting. <laughs> so that tells me Ray's on the clock, guys. <laughs> Remember that. He's got a drug test for a new job. Okay. Um, if there are bad guys in your base, you can't beat delete the fish trap. This is gray. And Green also explains it. Man, this community is so nice. These people, I know they're allied right now, but they're essentially enemies. They're the competition. I wouldn't explain it to the competition. I'd be like, you should have listened. It's a defense mechanism. You delete it, all the other player units in your base die. It only works once. Correct. Now, something I was told is that it will also kill ally units. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if it kills ally buildings. But I would assume that that would make sense. Uh, by the way, we've got so much eco flying for these guys right now. Some people managing the three TCs better than others. And actually, you guys are going to have to bear with me. I uh, listened back to some of my casts yesterday. And I've been toying around with trying to fix some audio levels and things here. We're going to lower some of this audio. Um, I felt like the game sound was far too extreme later on. And it actually made sense for me because the game sound was getting loud for me too, yes. but I was thinking everything was perfect for viewers. So um, sorry if you guys preferred the higher yes. game sound, but I just wanted to taper that down a little bit. I heard a lot of chopping of trees, which is, you know, not too bad, but we continue here. Um, you know, clearly, some people didn't realize the situation here with the town center thing. Uh, like we've got the TCs, I guess, being unpacked right now for purple. But Purple now has multiple town centers to work with. It could have also been a comfort thing, let's be honest. So welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome, everybody. Happy holidays. Look at this beautiful farm terrain here for Ivan. I, I like the... I love Polish farms. I love just how they look. You know, not even... I don't care about the eco bonus. I'm a little curious uh, what this is about. I'm not sure if Xavier can uh, mention it or, or explain this to me, but there's a Palisade wall from each player. Maybe Blue deleted his. Wow, Blue's base is looking pretty cool. Look at the houses. We've got like the fighter jet shaped houses here. And delete that and the rocks are gone. Oh, I see. And he must have done it and now the rocks are gone. Okay, so that's like a switch. If you don't want people into your... Well, I guess if you want to allow people into your base. If anything, though, you would want to delete that. So you could explore. But I guess then again, we are playing on Explored. So you know what this reminds me of, guys? I'm really curious to see how the units move on this. I'm wondering if this is like one tile that you can't cross over. Uh, or if you can actually freely walk across this whole thing. But I, um, I used to make scenarios all the time when I first started in Age of Empires 2. And my thing was like, I wasn't at the point where I would play actual games. So what I would do is I would just give myself a really yes. great base with all these fortifications. Yes. And then I would give the, al the enemy a bunch of units. And obviously I'd make it so I would always win the fights. And I would just recreate all these battles. And my favorite thing, because the AI, especially the old AI, was just stupid is I used to use the bridge. Not this bridge. I don't know. No, this looks like a newer bridge, but it's similar to this. It was more green, if I recall. Um, Yeah, this one, I think. 
I think this was the bridge. So I used to use this bridge and I I set it across a river and then I'd have a massive hill with a bunch of towers and castles and I'd sit there with all my units and I'd put all the AI units on the other side and I'd send one unit across the bridge and I'd attack and then all the units would get angry and then follow me into my death trap. <laughs> so I, I really want to hear people's stories on that. Like if they can relate to that at all. But I used to do that all the time, man. And that's what bridges remind me of. Because there's no bridges in Age of Empires 2, uh, like, competitive. Like, you can't build bridges. There's no bridge builders technology. And if there were, believe me, people would quick wall, okay? It'd be like, oh my god, the fire ship got quick walled in with the bridge. What a play there from the snake. It would be immediately abused. And I think it's completely fine to keep th some things in there. Uh, and leave them as scenario tools. I don't think we need to bring it into the standard game every single time. But, but yeah, I did that stuff a lot, man. I did that stuff way more than I like to admit. And by the way, Ray is in feudal, about to be in castle, but Ray has 102 villagers. So the three TC start certainly strong there, and I'm sure that players will be able to advance all their way to the Imperial Age as well. But I mean. Again, there's a m huge discrepancy here with the Ecos. We've got Sneezy at number t uh, uh, four, I guess, actually. At green and yellow are about 85, which puts them in second and third place. Absolutely did very similar. I built a huge organized fortress in the north corner, multi-level, tons of archers, and just a huge amount of enemies on the south corner. Yep. Yeah, what I did kind of reminded me of... Uh, I don't know how many people out there have played Mountain Blade before. Uh, but, you know, I'm not a... I don't know a lot about the game, so don't judge me. But there was like a scenario or something where you could set how many enemies would come in and attack you at your base. And you like pick them off with your archers or whatever. Um, it kind of reminded me of that. Because then you just restart it and be like, okay, let's add more bad guys. Only in Age of Empires 2, it was different because you could change the whole terrain, right? Like, you could adjust everything. Yeah, I, I, I will tell you a Mountain Blade story real quick for all you Mountain Bladers, okay? So, I, I actually played Mountain Blade first in 2013, okay? And I really liked it, and it was really cool. And I was trying to follow some of the things that I was supposed to do and, like, you know, some of the tasks. And I'll tell you what turned me off from the game. And in fact, it made me really upset. So, like, I'd speak to some dude and he'd be like, hey, you have to spend this, go to this town, talk to this person for whatever reason I was going there. And so I'd say, okay, where is that place? And I'd find that place. And it'd take me a while to get there. And I'd get there. And then the person would be gone. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I'd go directly there. And then the person would be gone. And that would happen like six times in a row. I'd be like, okay, where is he now? He's always over here. Okay. And I like have to follow this person for like four hours. And I just quit. I just quit the game. I was like, I, I can't do this anymore. This is an annoying trend. Why am I wasting my time? So that was the conclusion of my time with that game. At least in like the missions and whatnot. So. That's that's the conclusion of my stories on that as well. So maybe they fixed that. I don't know. But we've got some Diplo talk over here. Green says, hey, Teal, BFFs, question mark, smiley face, your archers and my calves should work fine. Ooh, saucy. Not really. Uh, but Sneezy says, sounds like a good plan. And that's true, right? Like Britain archers, Polish cav, it's a really good combination. By the way... The whole map is somewhat symmetrical, but the way Green's base is set up has some nice symmetry to it as well. Yes. Um, the worst is when there's a bandit in a village and you just cannot find them. Yeah, I quit the game. Yes. I don't have time for that crap. <laughs> uh, yellow or Salty AF says, yes, does this work? How do I send to just one person? Well, first off, you hit the caps lock button. <laughs> I like how I like how purple is yelling back at him. It's always funny how the little voice that reads in our head is always screaming, right? Anytime there's caps. Not audio settings. Okay, well. 
they're gonna sh eventually break this down for yellow so yellow understands how to do the diplomacy side of things there's trumpets there's the little reeds there's a bunch of different settings all right now is the red player we're looking at here the same player who sniped someone with um uh flaming camels last week I think there's multiple of this name. I think it might be a different player, but that was definitely crazy stuff. Well, that was in the uh, the Edward Slowden game. Ray is soaking up all the gold, has 180 eco, and is probably going to be ahead in every single stockpile. I mean, look here. 61 on food is more than anyone. 55 on gold is more than anyone. And even has the most on wood at the moment. Actually, no, green has more, but... Ray's just going for a crazy boom, and if I were to guess, I would say Ray is going to dominate this game. And remember, the clock is ticking because Ray has to go for a job interview. Or, no, it's it's a drug test for a new job. Do you want to trade with me, good sir? This is purple. And Ray says yes, but says that to Yellow, so who knows if Ray meant to say that to Yellow or what, but the Diplo continues. Show Green's base. Yeah, here's Green's base. Green's gonna stack some castles. Uh, people keep asking me if you can dock. You can't dock off of this. Like, I, I have grown used to knowing if you can dock or not because of all the different map gens over the years and Mega Random, etc. There's nothing I've seen that actually tells me you could dock. It all looks undockable. I don't think there's a possible way. Like, even these dolphins, they're just here for show. Those dolphins are having a good time. Oh, dolphins made noise, too. All right. Talking back to us. <laughs> Yellow says, Also, sorry for caps. That's my all TC hotkey. <laughs> what? Really? I've never heard of someone using caps lock as a hotkey in the game, but now that I think about it, it's actually pretty convenient compared to, you know, some other buttons you could maybe try and use. <laughs> and now yellow is back on caps lock because yellow's booming, so. All right. Okay, we can bleep bleep. I'm building up Tarky boys. And that would mean Tarkins for those that are unaware. Gold is going to be gone in the middle pretty soon, but everyone's being very kind and sharing at the moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. 237 eco here from blue. Okay, well, a detail that wasn't passed along to me is that this scenario does not max out at 200 population. And Ray is showing no sign of stopping and creating villagers here. I feel like going above 200 is excessive, though. Like, I feel like going to 200 villagers and then using what's left for the military would be good. He disagrees, though. He's about to be at 100 farms. Okay. You allied with yellow, Teal. No, only you and red, says Teal. Oh, okay. Free-for-all standard is 300, though. Okay. I didn't know that, all right? Actually, I would beg to differ because I used to play in a lot of those free-for-all lobbies back in the day, and people went to obscene levels. Like, I saw 500 pop beat the standard back in the day, at least on Earth. Uh, I made the mistake of joining one too many of those lobbies. People still play that. People do Earth free-for-alls all the time on 500 pop. I don't know how their PCs don't melt, but it happens. All right, so 300 population is apparently what we're at now. So that's the max. And we have a massive group of villagers running to the middle to just get as many resources as possible here. Remember, they all have a panic button. And that panic button is a fish trap. If you press that fish trap, aka delete that fish trap, I guess you can't actually take food from it. But yeah, that will uh, clear out anything that is not yours in your area. Ready to attack perp at 35, question mark? Dude, salty AF. What do you got to pick on the little guy? What What did purple do? Purple actually has 167 villagers, which is second. 
The red just now realizes the situation. And Ray signals and says his king was here a second ago. So Ray's happy with that. And I would be too if I were Ray because my score is high, my position's strong, and you don't want people worrying about you. And they're going to split the relics. They're already talking about how they're going to split purple's property. Oh, man. Brutal stuff. Right now, it's Ray, Ivan, Ares. Team for life. Man, I don't want this to come off the wrong way, but tell me if you agree, viewers. The way yellow types, the way yellow is, okay, from the username to the caps lock for the hotkey yes. to the spelling life LYF, all of that, it's all in sync. Right? Like, it all fits somehow. <laughs> and I... That shouldn't be seen as bad. But, like, everything about yellow... You know, even the comment of Tarky Boys earlier. And then yellow wanting to kill purple right away. All this stuff. It all fits. It all tracks. <laughs> the personality is just amazing. And yellow's ready. It says, ready at 35. We are 20 seconds away from that. And Ray says, let's wait till 40. Ray's like, calm down here, whippersnapper. Calm down. No, I wouldn't say that yellow... I wouldn't describe yellow as salty. I, I'm not getting that vibe at all. Uh, what I am getting is like... Uh, oh man, what's the word? Again, like, yellow's gonna rewatch this later, so I don't want to, like, lose a viewer here over this. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, very, um... Um... No, it's not salty. Very, uh... I can't, you know what? I'm just going to let you guys think of the word. But it all fits, and I love it. Because sometimes you'll have people like, I remember a game in the past where someone was super nice, right? And they were like, I'm just a noob, don't hurt me. And then like 10 minutes later, they got attacked by like one unit, and they were just like, fucking bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh God, I bleeped, but I actually swore before the bleep. Hold on, let's try this again. What are you doing, you? There you go, I actually have the bleep button. I'm sorry, children. Um... So some people aren't consistent with who they are. I don't know if you guys heard that. I apologize. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, 40 for perp, says Yellow. Yellow's all about it. First community game. Let's go! Sorry, we're gonna not able to edit that one out. Um, yellow and maybe green at 40 minutes. Ooh. Yellow and maybe green at 40 minutes. Wait, what? Oh no, you can't build wonders, says Ray. Well, false advertising. I was told that was possible. Maybe Ray is just saying that as a bait. Maybe that was Ray's whole strategy. Ray's got elite war elephants, FYI. Looking at his stockpile right now, he kind of looks like he wanted to make a wonder and then just try and defend himself and go take his drug test for his interview. Hmm. This is some crazy text right there. You can build wonders. It's just unlocked. Or it's just locked until 1 hour and 45 minutes. Okay, well, that detail was not passed along to the players. So that'll be interesting if someone tries it later. Because blue only said that to yellow. Let's see how it goes. Here in this community game. By the way, yellow, can you please take a moment and build that mill? It has been unfinished for a long time. Thank you. That would be awesome. This map looks pretty freaking sweet. We have an attack now, actually. We have Gray, of all people, upset with Purple's presence here towards the middle. Maybe want some of that gold. The alliance that I think is going to be the most interesting in this game is going to be blue and yellow. Because Ray, I think he wants a friend... I think Ray will also be very happy with that Yellow wants to kill everything all the time. As long as that, you know, something isn't him. Mm, I think that's interesting. Also, I think Green and Teal are going to be a pretty crazy alliance together. And apparently Red might be in on that. Gray isn't a bad color. He serves as contrast and doesn't afraid of anything. All right. Hey guys, if you had to guess what sport Gray would like to do in his spare time, what would you guess? Any thoughts? I don't know, really hard to guess with this guy. 
For some people, you might have some info, but I'm not too sure on that. Oh, purple! We've got some action here. Purple is being the targeted here by blue. And they're being targeted by yellow. And there are those Tarky boys, as yellow called them earlier. Well, good news for purple is you have time to prep at home. But yeah, you're going to lose everything here really fast. That is a 2v1 if I've ever seen it. And uh, you better house wall faster here, buddy. And then blue's coming in here as well. And JD, I'm not sure what JD did. But JD's existence just bothered these two. We were ready to fight and ready to kill. Okay. Red says, I think yellow caught his wife cheating on him with purple. <laughs> I mean, you know, you would hope that that actually didn't happen, but it does bring up a point that like, yeah, yellow doesn't really like purple for some reason. <laughs> and purple says, what is your problem, man, to blue? And blue says, you enemied me. So knock, knock. You have Tarkins and elephants and paladins and traps. Purple will not last here. Especially because the main army comp is going to be archers. And Tarkins and Elephants are actually really good against archers. You've got 8 Pierce Armor. And then you've got 7 Pierce Armor. But tons of HP, obviously, on the Elephant. Now. Someone might have brought up that Tarkins don't have a noise in our game anymore. One of the most classic units. And they no longer have a thump. I'm not that someone. I'm not someone who likes to bring up things that the devs should have taken care of a couple years ago. But I missed the thump. If you would like the thump, there is apparently a Tarkin Thump mod. You can search for that. But I would really like everyone to experience that thump. And they are silent but deadly, as many of you are probably very familiar with back at home, uh, these Tarkins. So purple's in trouble, right? The kings don't explode, but purple does have the panic button, okay? So purple could delete that thing and kill all these units at some point. Yeah. But, like, I don't know when you do it. Because you can only do it once. So you might want to wait until they have everything in your base. And we'll see if Purple even remembers that thing exists. Alright? The unit that is amazing at taking out buildings. But it has no noise. Perfectly reasonable situation we have here. But yeah, I feel bad for Purple. I really do. Uh, and Purple is also completely surrounded. It's Yellow and Blue are his neighbors, so... Purple didn't do a great job at, like, you know, maybe building up that relationship. Or maybe didn't expect that people would be this aggressive. And Green says, Purple, use your nuke. Delete the fish trap. Now, that could happen right now. But Purple might want to save it. Because you only have one. And Purple's king is in this corner, by the way. And the nuke thing might confuse people. Because, like, when I think nuke, I think friendly fire as well. So Purple might think that kills me too. But the way it was explained to me is it doesn't actually kill you as well. It doesn't kill any of your buildings. So I think it would make sense for Purple to use it now. Hmm. Yo, Orange Day, welcome. Welcome everybody else. Thank you, Jonas, for the three months. Yo, leave. I have a nuke. This is Purple. All right. I like how Purple is now saying this after Purple was yes. reminded. Find some new enemies. Now, the others are all talking, and Red says, listen, yellow and blue have a grudge against purple, so we can at least be assured that it'll be 4v3 or less. That's a good point. You've got four people who are not fighting. Yellow says, go ahead and nuke. And Ray says, it's a dud. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Okay, all right. Maybe it's a dud like North Korea's. We went there. All right, Ray. Well, you could tell yellow believes in it because he's sitting over here. And Teal, talking to himself in the mirror, says, should we hit blue now? So hopefully Teal can actually speak to somebody about this. But might be trying to talk to green. And uh, I haven't seen the nuke actually get deleted yet. The king is in the town center. Purple! Delete the fish trap, man! I don't think purple fully understands it. Oh! <laughs> I was wrong! <laughs> I was wrong! Okay. Okay. So purple deletes the trap, and we finally see the panic button, guys. The panic button is a really cool mechanic. I like it. But now, as... Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a second! Oh, I forgot! It's like a... It lasts for a while, right? Look at this. Yellow's like, I'm so smart. I am amazing. I'm gonna run in now. And uh-oh. 
So this area is like off limits for a certain period of time. I don't remember exactly how long it is. I obviously haven't seen that before. Purple says it was nuts. Blue says guess it wasn't a dud. And obviously that allows purple to survive a little bit longer. But purple can never use that again. So obviously things are still looking pretty rough. But yeah, now they can re-enter. Red and green, let's go. Red says, where to? And then Sneezy's struggling with the chat. This is a crucial time to have chat working. <laughs> so, um, this is going to be another problem for purple. No one has come to bat for purple, but let's be honest. Like, if you're a weaker player, do you really want to turn up against the guy who has that many war elephants? No, you don't. So, it's not easy either. With the way that blue has fortified his base and you'd have to attack the other side it's not like with his positioning you can like come from this direction and help purple and ray sees this and says what are we thinking here kill red now ray is a really good player but he's a great dip lower and he's very aware so he this is actually a smart play from him he's proposing that he go after red that probably won't work but it's worth the conversation all right, the silent but deadly Tarkins are here. Yellow's in with Trebs. Blue obviously has quite a few elephants. And purple, it's going to be a sad end to your story here, it looks like. No one has really come to your aid. If the others were to attack, that would be awesome. And Teal is now thinking, oh, God, I've been called out. I have to look cool here. And says, Red wanted to hit you. So Teal could still plan on fighting Blue, but now Teal is questioning it a little bit because the big bad bully Ray has noticed things. Also, we're going to remove the market thing. I should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> Blue says I have to leave in 15 minutes. Only for 30 minutes, though. I'm pretty sure if I AFK, I'll still be alive. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. So he's got to go take a drug test. And he feels like he can make it back home and still be alive. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I wouldn't tell people that, actually. I think it would be better if you said that so the viewers would see it. But I don't know if that's good to tell everybody else. It does certainly make this game fascinating, though, because Ray is the top dog right now. And Purple's going to die soon, and it does look like it is a little bit laggy for these two, but that's because of how much population there is. It's almost like trying to spectate on a crazy map where you could zoom all the way out and zoom all the way in with more than 200 pop map makers is a little bit of an issue for computers. Just saying. Wow, Purple's still alive. Just for future reference. I love you guys. I love you 500 poppers out there as well, but uh, the 200 population limit, even in 2022, kind of makes sense. Purple is a real fighter. Purple might actually stay, al stay alive here. And now, massive fight here in the middle. Holy crap. Anyone? Question mark? Well, they're all going to have some much bigger problems. Also, Ray wasn't kidding. Ray is building castles in his base. He might be able to survive if he's AFK. And I'm trying to determine who is fighting who here. It looks like they're all engaging against Blue. It doesn't even look like much is happening. They're going against Yellow as well. I don't know if Blue can hold it on his own with this much army. Especially because Genoese crossbowmen. Genoese crossbowmen are a unit that uh, has a bonus damage against cavalry. And Purple says leave. Time is up. 15 minutes. And I think he's trying to tell Blue, like, you don't want to miss that job, bro. Come on, get out of here. Bullies oftentimes get punished in this game, guys. And I think the yellow and blue were definitely bordered into that bully territory. And the other thing, and I think, like, the big thing that we should be talking about, about regarding, um, regarding that whole situation is the fact that they didn't actually profit from it. They didn't kill purple. So now you've got purple out there, and he's just, like, a living witness to your brutality. You weren't able to silence the guy. We have Britain longbows. We have Genoese crossbow. We have hussars. We have so much, but Ray has elephant after elephant after elephant. 
And this is not 10 times tech mod, guys. This is just straight up big old boom time with Persians. Yeah, I think even if I were to spend, you know, two grand on a 4090 or whatever, I, the way I've experienced it with DE is it will lag for the spectator if it's lagging for the players at all. So I won't have like a lag free situation if the players are experiencing lag because of the way the game is is like I don't know why that's how it works, but that is actually how it works. Yellow still yellowing uh, says I thought we were friends forever. And red says if we are friends then why are you yelling at me? And yellow's like dang I got to switch that hotkey man. Hmm, okay. Sorry, that is my hotkey. Purple says buddy to the end to red. Red's in an interesting spot, but you know who else is in an interesting yes. spot? Is gray. Gray has an amazing little keep wall. Uh, very SimCity looking base over here and has been very silent. Very patient, very calm. As golf players can be, maybe? <laughs> Uh, Yellow's getting massacred. Uh, in fact, it's not even close. A the micro there wasn't the prettiest. But guys, this guy's got so many elephants. 122 elephants! Oh my god! Red isn't over here anymore, though. Like, red's going after yellow, which has, met, has allowed blue to push this area. This is insane. When I saw Ray had Persians, I knew this was going to be crazy. The random gods obviously helped him a lot. And look at Purple. I'm proud of Purple. Getting revenge. Starting to move out now with confidence. And wanting to obviously go kill Yellow for the atrocities that were committed. Green doesn't have the army comp. There's just no way. Yellow could maybe do something and attack Blue's base. Like, that's an option. Actually, bear with me, guys. I want to check... The APM tab. This is very laggy. Okay, if Blue's APM ever drops down to zero, he has officially gone to take his drug test for his new job. Because that would that would be funny, is if he just queued up all his elephants to the middle and then left. That would be the time to do it, right? Hmm. Nice try, Blue. Heh. This is red. Yeah, I think the Genoese crossbowmen are really important here. So, like... Having this many Genoese here might not be needed if you're going to have Purple pushing in on his own on the other side. I think you might need to come over here so your teammate doesn't take too much damage. That bonus damage is really important. Hmm. There is still gold in the middle. That's a very good observation. And Gray is the one who's taking most of it. Elite Teutonic Knights are a really good unit against Elephants, actually, uh, compared to a lot of other units in the game. Like, a combination of Halb and Teutonic Knights could be awesome. Teutonic Knights, a legendary unit. Some of our favorite units in the game. I've been seen in this. I remember making Elephants and Teutonic Knights back in the day. Longbows as well, right? So, here's something. How many of you guys have ever seen the YouTube video? I think it's the most viewed Age of Empires video ever. And it's like... How to kill 10 more elephants. It's like crappy resolution from like 20 years ago. And it's a scenario where there's a little cliff. And the elephants go into the cliff area and I think he gates it. Or no, no, no. I think they're just trapped in there. And then he just there's just an onager up on the hill outside of the little cliff firing down on the elephants. Because the elephants can't actually attack. <laughs> It's like, there, there's some of those videos out there that are just like old little clips and scenarios that somehow just got caught on the algorithm. Every time I see elephants, I think of that one. And there's clips here too, so it took my mind back. Super old video. I think it, I forget how many views it has. It has a lot. More than any video I've done. And I'm pretty sure I put in a little more effort than that. <laughs> so okay, apparently my, uh, Apparently my plan is incorrect. Maybe I should just stop casting and just do that. 2.7 million views. Yeah, right? <laughs> I was wrong, though. I said 10. I thought it was way more than that. Okay. 
Someone says my stream is dead. Well, if your stream is dead, just give it a refresh. I'm good. Yellow is now friends with purple. I don't know how that's happening. Purple doesn't seem... Wait, purple has accepted that? No, he's attacking yellow still. Why don't we stop being enemies and trade? Classic yellow. Classic. Yeah, you just like try and kill the guy multiple times and keep caps lock on so you're yelling at him. My question is, why does yellow always have caps on if he's pressing the caps lock key a lot to go to his TCs? Is it just that he's not doing that anymore? Maybe that's it. But you would think it'd be like caps on, caps off, caps on, caps off, caps on, caps off. It always seems to be caps on. Hmm. I believe blue is still here. Blue's still been queuing. Blue's still been fighting, but he's losing tons of ground now. And more and more, I feel like Ray doesn't have a chance here. You've got purple who wants to help with the great keep wall of the, of the, uh, who are it with Malians? Yeah, the Malians. But it, once again, though, it is the Genoese crossbowmen that are just massacring blue. All that HP is disappearing faster than you would with any other unit. And then you've also got the Trebs taking on the castles, which is the production building. Now, he is making Heavy Scorpion, which is really good. But there's just so much stuff here from the enemy, man. Did he miss his drug test? Well, uh, I, I don't know. Let me look again. The guy's here, man. The guy's here. He said 15 minutes or something. What feels like more than 15 minutes ago. I don't know. Gray is now turned on Ray. He's weighing the pros and cons on if having a job is actually something he wants. He's like, ah, oh, I got, I think I'm good. I don't really need this job. Uh, imagine the job offers I'll get if I win a T90 community game again. Yeah. A lot of people tell me, man, they put that on their resume. It's like, have watched this T90 official guy for thousands of hours. I played in three community games. And one of them, I was in top four. And they're like, wow. This guy's been through some adversity. Imagine what he could do for our company. Who are you talking with, Orange? Says Green. This is a good question. But that, that is going directly to you. Purple, I'm coming to reinforce you, says Red. Very nice teammate here, Red. He realizes they're making progress here. Yeah, and originally, Ray did say in two hours, and it's been 45 minutes, so I don't know what's up with his timeline. If I had to guess, I would say that he has to have, like, maybe there's a certain time he has to submit the test by. <laughs> Yo, that would be, that would be interesting. If, like, they're like, you have to go to this location and take this drug test by this time. And he's been thinking all day that he was going to do it, but then he got into a community game, so now he's trying to delay it as much as possible so he doesn't die. But I don't know. He doesn't have trade. He doesn't really seem to have a great unit composition anymore. I don't know what more he does if everyone continues to stay against it. I watched the entirety of both of T90's longest AV2 game ever videos. Yeah, exactly. That's commitment, right? That's commitment. Companies want people who stay committed to them despite how slow things might get. Or how weird the Dark Age is. Or the no 2v1 rules. How much army is this? A lot. A lot of army. It doesn't actually add it up there. Almost two. Probably like 250 army right here on your screen, guys. Yeah, quick math tells you it's probably more around 300 or 400. It's a lot of population. And blue. He started that fight with purple. And purple's still alive. See, John, as Oh! Yellow used the, the panic button. So we've had two panic buttons used in this game. Yellow no longer has a panic. Purple no longer has a panic. Let's see if Ray will use a panic. The panic thing's weird, right? Obviously, it's like... Since you only have one of them, you want to make sure you absolutely have to use it. I don't think Ray will do it for a while here. I think the castle fire is still going to provide enough cover. Until, of course, all the trebuchets move in to take them out. It's been a cool map. Uh, it seems extremely hard to break people down. Ray says, I got to go. Get drug tested in two minutes. Be back if I'm still alive. Good luck. And so now, 
he pieces out. And it is possible that we see the end of Ray. He's decided he's not going to win the community game anymore, so he might as well go get that job. Loading up my queue and enemying everyone. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay. Now, I do say before every community game, please only enter if you have time to actually play the game, right? If you have the game, downloaded the game, have your game updated, blah, blah, blah. I say all these things. What I don't say is, uh, you know, please don't enter if you can play the game and then have to leave and go get drug tested. I've never said those words. So, he actually followed the rules, sort of, kind of. Uh, and he's obviously played a big part in this game, and we'll see if people want to focus on a guy who's AFK. I'm not sure if I necessarily trust him, though. Is the APM down? I think it's it's getting there, but it's still... He's still doing stuff. Look at that. He can't... He's addicted. He can't walk away. He's probably just going to position all his units right around where his king is, which is actually in that tower right now. Hmm. Yeah, well, Caleb, the problem with that longest game ever video is that I said I was going to, like, make a recap of it. But that video that I made, the second I put it out, the the other, like, the game ended, right? So, like, I think that it was up to 90 hours, and then it ended on 95. Uh, the, it feels like the time has kind of passed for that. But, yeah, I probably, I did say in that video I was going to do more, and uh, unfortunately, I jinxed it. <laughs> Hmm. His drugs are AoE 2 and Persian chonkers. Well, I've heard they're addicting, guys. The problem is how expensive they are. So, not not realistic to do Persian more elephants though your whole life. All right. So we've had a lot of crazy things happen in this game, right? Purple almost died. Purple survives. Purple now has friends too, guys. Purple's not alone anymore. Um, I think the quietest player has been Gray. Nick has not really wanted to chat at all, I've noticed. So Nick is kind of flying under the radar, either intentionally or unintentionally. I'm not too sure. Obviously, Blue has done a lot in this game, and now it definitely feels like he's AFK. In fact, did he not? Oh, no! He has Gray allied... <laughs> He stayed allied to Gray, so the Halbs are dominating. Yes. He's definitely gone then. Gray says coordinated attack on yellow in one minute. Red, green, and teal. Okay. Hmm. Well, uh, for blue being AFK, he's doing a pretty good job because Sneezy clicked his trebs way too far in there. So, yeah, for whatever reason, red actually stayed allied to yellow as well. Look at this eco, man. Poles are no joke, man. They're winged hussars. I had elite obos. And even in situations, I've had halb against these winged hussars. But because of the trample damage, they are insanely strong in numbers. Not to mention the eco, but... Actually lost a game against winged hussars when I had halbs everywhere. I had like 80 halbs. Still dead. Insane unit. Not necessarily in community games, but I think in this scenario where you can't be... Like, where you've just got, like, a couple entryways, I think it can be really strong. Hmm. Well, yellow's getting pushed. I'm not shocked. Um, I don't want to make you more table salty here, yellow, but I'm not shocked at all that you ended up being one of the people that they went up against. It's your first commie game. You've got caps lock on, so it seems like you're screaming at everyone. You wanted to kill somebody at 35 minutes into the game. Not really the type of person that people are going to trust to be friends with them over a very long game. And Purple is going to make a move. And Purple's been talking to Red. Red has done a great job of being everyone's friend this game. And Red also is looking to be in a very strong position. And Purple's like, I'm going to go for Blue now. Who again is AFK and Gray's been clearing up units because he forgot to enemy Gray. So, this could be over for blue by the time he gets back from that drug test. The king for yellow is inside of that castle. And there is no way yellow can survive this. There is just so much in that eco. 
Eventually that castle will go down. Eventually yellow will probably be the first person that goes out. And what has been a very crazy game. Uh, it's a really cool map. And I think that my favorite mechanic of it is the panic switch. Because we haven't really seen the panic switch utilized in Age of Empires 2. It's been more like your king is an explosion. So it's like the revenge switch. Or the ha, take this switch. Uh, but you're already going to die at that point, right? So it doesn't really save you. So I, that aspect is pretty cool. It also hasn't really discouraged fighting like I thought it might. Here's a question for Xavier, who might be watching still, the creator of the map. Can you tell me if there's a pop-up for the players that says Wonder Victory is possible at 145? Because you said 145 is when Wonders are possible. Yellow says, please no kill. I don't want to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay loving the discussion around you know real life in this game <laughs> not that i i lose that perspective with you guys i'm well aware that you guys watch while working or watch while you should be working you use me to procrastinate but it's kind of funny to me yellow is apparently supposed to be working right now uh, i have to imagine he's enjoying the whole working from home experience but yeah, he could be finished off here quickly. Capture Rage is freaking out right now. And uh, the King for Ray will die. It is in this tower. It is so close to going down. Purple's got 36 Siege Onagers. That is a lot of Siege. And Purple must be feeling like a god. He almost died in this game. Oh, yeah. You want to be on T90 shorts? Let's see. Big old shot. <laughs> Ivan Khan, more like Ivan the Terrible, says Yellow. Frowny face. And yet, yeah, Yellow, uh, you insulted the wrong guy, but I guess you saw the writing was on the wall. And the king is dead for salty AF. I am shocked. All right. Well, this changes the game, guys. The first two attackers, the first two bullies, you could call them, they are going to be cleared out of the game. It was a great game from both of them. The king will go down here. They'll probably... Well, where's the gather point? Come on, purple. You can do it. The guy's not here right now. Boom! King's dead. That's pretty cool. Look at the score at the bottom right. We have bottom score, and then we have top score out at the same time. You don't see that every day. A yellow says, first communist game didn't go as hoped. Kami is not short for communism. It is short for community, guys. I know we call it commie games, but come on. Don't give people the wrong impression over here. Teal says we should get orange. Yeah, so, so now I'm curious, right? Because I think before it was green, it was teal, it was red, and it was gray. So it was those four, and then blue and yellow didn't want anybody else, and they obviously attacked purple. And then Orange has been here. Orange has kind of been helping, but Orange hasn't been, like, really buddy-buddy with Green. Hmm. Where you need the market says Orange to Purple. So they're going to be friends. They'll probably want to trade across this area. Now, I have a question for you guys. What happens if someone attacks this fish trap from Blue? Can you do that? You probably can, right? I think if you take that out, it probably would kill everything that's here. That was a good game. T90 Golden Stone in the middle. Check the amount. Also, did you read all the changes? No. You you have you sent me a lot of details, and it was way too much to read as I was setting up the game. So if there's any relevant things that I haven't brought up yet, I would absolutely love those details, if at all possible. There is a lot of resources in the middle right now. Okay, I'm being told the bomb is defused after the play is dead. Okay, I really like the idea of a fish trap being defused. Got it. Red says, I'm not sure what to do now. Let's just all sing together. And Teal says, he's weak for now. We could just get rid of him. Oh, not singing. Okay. He's weak for now. We can just get rid of him easily. Yes, let's go. Okay, so Teal and Green are going to attack Orange then, I guess? And then Teal says, hey, Red, let's go on Orange. And Red wanted to sing, but I guess killing people and murdering their village is also fine. 
This is also interesting. I guess when you chop through these areas, there's... That's actually a pretty good path to trade. Hmm. We have to get orange. He is getting too big. Hmm, is he though? I just think orange is an easy target because he hasn't been good friends with you. He's bottom score of the players that are alive. But I guess, actually, Orange does have a ton in the middle. That's probably it. And gray wants to be... Or, or Purple wants to be allied now with Gray. And now Purple says, guys, I need five minutes. All right, so he's got to go finish up a work call himself. Uh, Teal now turns on Orange, and Orange wasn't fully expecting this. And all the bomber cannons for Orange are going to go down, and Orange's world is going to start crashing down around him. He has Bomber Cannons ready and waiting. But now Red is going to turn as well. So everyone's turned on Orange, and Lotus Dreams has not made any moves yet. Green is also going to turn. So all of this could start to go down, and there we go, finally. Orange kind of realizes, but Green is here, and it was a well-coordinated effort here. As Red apologizes, and says, I'm sorry, Orange. It always had to be this way. I will remember you fondly. Unless I die, then you remember me fondly. Or with hate, whatever you prefer. All right, so Orange has options. That's good. Very kind of Red to give the enemy options like that. And Purple says, Plan, Orange? <laughs> um, you're going to have to wait a moment. Your buddy's busy. <laughs> I don't think he was expecting this to get out of hand so quickly. Oh, man. Well, this is just domination right now. We've got units everywhere. And no signs that they these team can really be stopped, right? Like, it was precisely what Reddit said earlier. There's four people together. The other people are all split apart. And what? Red disconnected. So Red is gone. So I guess he will be remembered with hatred by Orange. And that, that's disappointing. Now, here's the positive for Orange. Obviously, Red has dropped. So that's one less person attacking you. The negative here is that he's still enemy to you. So you're going to run into those units anyways. And his buddies are so strong and taking you out anyways. Feels bad, man, for Red. And uh, Red joins uh, the others in the afterlife. And I guess, you know, maybe we should toss in a little thanks to E in there, but... Once again, you know, you have a crazy map with all this population. Uh, it is a computer game. Everyone's got, like, a bunch of different systems, yada, 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 yada. It's, it's really hard to avoid dropping in these types of ridiculous settings from time to time. For the moment, get orange with the boys. This is green. Green plan, corner to corner. For the moment, get orange with the boys. Okay. So I guess green and purple are going to be friends long term. Teal has dropped a lot of castles. And I was, uh, I asked earlier if it, there's a pop-up that talks about Wonder Victory at 145, and I was told there is. So we're being really close to 145. Uh, hello, uh, Salty AF here. Why do my in-game colors not match T90s? Uh, if you, what were your colors? You probably had team colors on. I'm going to assume you were blue and everybody else was red, maybe? Actually, I forget how team colors works in Diplo games. But yeah, there's a there's a setting called team colors that you would need to toggle. So everyone has their individual colors. Unless it's a scenario thing. That doesn't show in Capture Age or something. And Purple wants to know what the future game plan is. And then Grace says, let's get that far first. We'll see. But yeah, team colors, the way that works is you're always blue. Enemies are red and yellow is ally. But I don't know if that updates on the fly uh, in diplomacy games. But that that's meant for team games so you can sort through all the different colors at times. But man, Sneezy's a beast right now. Sneezy's playing incredibly well. But Sneezy has 37 Britain trebuchets. And has 58 longbow. Yikes. Yeah, well, if your color was different in the actual game, I don't I'm gonna imagine it's the way Capture Age picks things up. 
because this is a scenario and scenarios don't jive with capture age sometimes but to us these are the colors and they haven't changed for us so we can roll with it no problem well i was going to say that red was my favorite to win because i felt like red played this really smart red was really defensive with all the fake units inside the towers um but now like now i look over at purple and purple's suddenly god tier Purple doesn't have anyone on the flanks to worry about, which is a huge plus. And actually, it's going to get even better for Purple because I think Orange is going to be the next to go down. So Purple might be one of the favorites that we have to pay attention to, like, trade and gold count, etc. Um, I mean, Teal's looking pretty strong, right? Being the Britons and all that, but... Against this much Siege, I think the Britons would struggle... I, I guess the question is really, will green and purple be friends long term, or will it be green and teal? Because I, I think they all want to kill orange and are slowly doing so. Hmm. It's a shame red was playing on a Nokia. <laughs> well, listen, I still use a Nokia, all right? I don't, actually. I mean, <clears throat> I do for certain phone calls. No, I'm kidding, FBI. It's a joke. Um, But no, I, I feel bad for him, yeah. Um, I... It's really tough, as I said, with PC games because you've got so many different systems out there and then you factor in hundreds and hundreds of population per player. It's 300 max population, which just adds so much more stress onto the systems. And then you've got weird nukes and explosions and cliffs and all types of different stuff. So Sad times for Red. Red was also a really entertaining player in this game. What's the plan, Orange? Yeah, okay. I think the boys want you after Orange. Although, I think Red wanted you the most. So maybe it's changed. Ooh. Teal, move. Enemy into Orange. Hey, by the way, you guys want to hear something interesting? Look at this corner. Hear that? Hear it? That's actually a game bug. I thought it was Capture Age. But it's actually a game bug. At least last time I checked, that actually happens in the game. I've been talking about that for months. And then someone brought up recently that that happens in the left corner in an actual game. <laughs> so if someone had, basically, if someone has like Siege Onagers or Onagers, and, you know, it makes that sound, it will, for whatever reason, always show up in the left corner of the game. And if you're in that corner, you could actually hear it. But it seems like it's not as crazy as it used to be. It used to get really loud with, like, uh, Ballista Elephants were in a game. I'm not sure exactly why that's the case. Man, this Death Ball. It just seems like a nightmare for anyone to deal with that doesn't have Heavy Siege. Valiants do have Siege Onager, but it doesn't seem like that's really something that Orange has gone for. And Obviously, the big theme in this game has really been numbers in these fights. Uh, not just the unit composition. Purple somehow made it out against... A 2v1, but yellow was 3v1, blue was 4v1, orange now being 4v1. Orange now turns on gray, uh, probably not realizing that gray was attacking him the whole time. And gray has slowly crept into that top score position. And gray says, who told? But I don't know, guys. It just feels like a waiting game right now. There's a lot of clutter on this map, so it's really hard for me to, like, break anything down and, and discuss it more. I, I love the fact that Gray has so much gold control in the middle. And that Gray doesn't have anyone to deal with here or here, because Red's obviously gone. I like that fact. The left corner is 0, zero coordinates, and I bet there is a bug where if it can't figure out where to put the sound, it puts it at zero, 0. Ah, interesting theory. It sounds really convincing. As someone who knows very little about development, I'm just going to say that that sounds right to me. Sorry, T90, but this is getting boring since we're back. Okay, what do you want me to do with that comment? Would you like me to do a little dance for you? Uh, would you like me to improve my commentary? Because I am actually talking the entire time, you know. Kind of a tough comment, you know, as someone who has put an hour of his life into talking about this whole match. Really tough comment for me to know what to do with. 
and not the most motivating type of comment I've ever heard in my life either. Just saying. Just saying. And I'm actually enjoying it. I mean, it's slow, right? There's progression. And by the way, I won't dance for you, so stop asking. But they're making progress. They're making progress, and Orange is going to die. Now, Orange does have a panic switch, so Orange has the opportunity to use that. I think Orange should use it soon, though. Maybe when Teal has all the trebs in here, you use the panic switch. Are we good to the end, says Purple, and Green says yes. See, <clears throat> that tells me that Green is threatened by Sneezy. And I don't necessarily blame him because Sneezy's playing really good. So we could end up having a 2v2 situation in the long run once Orange is out of the picture. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry. For, sorry again. You're doing great. There we go. <laughs> Woo. I feel better now. Thank you. <laughs> It's so easy, man. Like, as someone who is not just someone who talks on the internet and makes videos, I understand how easy it is to, like, say something and not realize how it comes off. Sometimes it can come off worse than you really mean it to. So I, I try and keep that perspective because I've been in your shoes before, but also I'm experienced enough now and I've done it for long enough where I just can't help but, like, you know, kind of be like, yo, come on, <laughs> and, like, mention it. Also, is this trade card stuck? What is this little scenario? Wait a second. Okay, so there it goes. Here we go. Over the rocks, past the broken down monument, past the mountain, into the pyramid, over into the gold area. It's not actually picking anything up. This is definitely a pathing issue, but the fact that it goes to gold and then leaves is pretty cool. It's almost like that was planned, but I guess maybe the gates are locked over here or something. Interesting. Oh, wait a second. We've got trade running through the middle as well. Okay. I have to watch this because there's going to be a panic switch, guys, and we are going to see tens of thousands worth of units go down. So many resources are in this right now, and I'm actually not going to select it because I'm pretty sure Cap Trade would crash. If I were to select all of this, and then it would all disappear. This is going to be insane. I'm going to try not and stress capture it out anymore. The panic switch is the fish trap. Which I don't see, actually. Wait, did he... Did he use it? I think it's actually possible he used it some other time. But I don't remember when he would have used it. Because I don't see it. And he also might not remember this detail. But the progress is being made here, guys. But everyone's trying to, to find out what the move is going to be after this. And the king is actually right there. He's moving pretty slow, if I'm not wrong. But maybe I'm confused. And yeah, I think Orange is going to die. Okay. I think Orange deleted his fist trap earlier, not knowing what it did. And we just didn't get to see any units dying. Like, it's possible that he just deleted it and said, oh, okay, well, that thing's in the way. And now he doesn't have a panic switch. So that's good for everybody else, obviously. Me and you could win this easily, says, says Purple. I could work with you. Purple? What a, what a storyline here, guys. What an arc. Purple went from the player who's going to be defeated. And now Purple has just told Green, hey, buddy, I love you. We're going to be friends forever. And now is talking behind Teal's, or Green's back to Teal and is saying, we can do this together, too. Great Diplo play. Awesome Diplo play. It's exactly what you want to do. Okay. Castle's obviously gone down. Orange still is not dead. There'll be no explosion with the king. There's no, uh, there's no uh, panic button to press here. No, we obviously will have panic buttons involved in the other players' bases eventually here. In two minutes, all players will be notified by the game. It won't show up in Capture Age like this, but it will notify the players in the game that they can win with Wonder Victory. And what I want to see is I want to see someone instantly drop the Wonder. Because earlier, Ray told everyone you can't win with Wonders. But if there's a game pop-up, I want to see like three instant Wonders. I think that'd be sick. 
poles are weak against archers, I can take green alone, says Sneezy. Ooh. Remember, green thinks that he's going to be buddy-buddy with JD. He's so happy. He's like, oh, I found a friend finally in this crazy, crazy world. I feel bad now, T90. How can I make it up to you? You're good. You feeling bad tells me you didn't mean it. You're good. We're all good, dude. You've been around a long time. Don't stress it. I swear to God, the kings are slower, though. Is that maybe in the scenario? They definitely don't seem as fast as usual. That is always interesting, though, because, like, kings shouldn't be fast. Well, I mean, it, it's fun that they are, but it's just kind of funny. Like, now we've got a Teutonic Knight catching up to a king, and Grey kills the king. And now Orange is out of the picture. So, again, they'll get that prompt in 20 seconds the stockpiles i'm now going to show there's the resources it's insane for pretty much everyone left you give the call to action i follow and sneezy continues to accidentally talk to himself for some reason but lotus streams gg will we have wonders go up immediately in the corners <laughs> it would be a smart play actually Mm. Yes. Should we get purple? Green says yes. So green isn't actually buddy buddy with them anyways. Like I thought green and purple were genuinely going to be together. And now Sneezy says yeah, get ready. Oh my god, purple is trying to do the double crossing, but purple's getting double crossed. <laughs> That's classic, man. Here I thought purple was being amazing. And Purple was going to backstab these other people, but they're all planning on killing him now? Dang. Uh, and Green's getting nice and close to the Siege Onagers, too, before the turn. And there goes Gray. I don't, I don't know if Gray necessarily saw that stuff. Hmm. The game speed is only 1.3, so that's why everyone's moving slower. The game speed's slow? No, it's not. The... Actually, now that I think about it, Wait, what? Has the game been slower the whole time? What? Okay, well, we gotta blame Ray for that. Ray probably had it on casual speed or something instead of normal. I don't know exactly why that is. Or maybe it's one of their computers. They don't have enough hamsters on the wheel right now. We go for teal. Maybe after. I'm a bit more scared of purple than of gray. Like, musical Diplo chairs right now. They're all trying to decide who's in the hot seat, who's going to be attacked. Could you call it, like, Diplo Diplo Goose? <laughs> Is that stupid? That's stupid. But you know what I mean, if you know what games I'm talking about. A lot of... The, the only person that hasn't really been talked about, though, is Grey. Like, people aren't really talking about killing Grey. So that's really good for Nick. Yeah, you're right. Ready? So this is ready to go attack purple. Hmm. I told you people don't read 11. They won't wonder because of that. Yeah. But to be fair, I did say Wonder Victory was possible because you told yes. me Wonder Victory was possible, but I probably missed out on the exact timing of the Wonder Victory being possible. And then they saw Ray say the Wonder Victory wasn't possible. And now they're in the midst of all this fighting and whatnot. So I can understand why they might just assume it's not worth the cost at this point. Gray says, I'm allied trying to get my guys to his base first. That's really smart. Um, however, purple has walled this off. So Gray actually can't do that. All right. You might not hear me for five seconds. One moment. Oh, man, guys. I don't want to sound old, but I've been really trying to get healthy and eat right and hydrate and work out and whatnot. And my body is sore, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm not even 30 yet. I can't handle it. It's all right. I was, I, I've been doing good, good stuff recently. Good progress before New Year's, you know? When everyone says New Year's resolutions and all that good stuff. Mmm, I'm next to Teal. 
Yes, you are, Green. Yes, you are. Greg can't get through. Never mind. He blocked all entrances. You just... I think what you have to do in this situation is you have to be assertive. And as Purple kills those there, I think you just have to move and say, hey, guys, I did it. Because sometimes people are scared to join. Like, Gray and Purple are now fighting each other. And this is where Gray should be like, hey, this is happening. And then everyone else is going to join in. And yeah, we're seeing exactly that. And oh, no! 60 Siege Onagers! Yikes, man. Well, that's painful. That obviously hurts a lot. And controlling Siege Onagers is already not easy. These, uh, these units for Gray are not going to be very successful, though. He's going to need to maybe push from this side. And this has definitely reached that stage of the game where, as I mentioned before when we saw the map, this game can go on for a long time. Like, a really long time. I'm a little scared, guys. I'm a little scared. Green says, lol. Teal says, sorry, but this isn't going to work. And I have no clue what Teal is actually talking about. Uh, Teal now turns on purple. And so now we now have a 3v1 situation. All right. Castles on castles on castles on castles on castles. So yesterday I was casting Loe the Legends. And we had a game. It was a 1v1 arena game. And I, I don't want to spoil the ending because the ending was unlike any I'd ever seen. But it went for... It was the longest 1v1 I've ever seen. Longer than, I think, most community games I've ever done. It was long, man. But it was eventful. And it was ridiculous. And then I looked afterwards and, and found some pretty hilarious details, which I'll edit into the video later on about the players. Some players just really like their long games. As for Diplo games, though, it's really a map thing. So... Now, we had talked about the map when I looked at it prior to. It was like, is this going to take too long? And I think it, it, it's completely fine because the fail save, uh, sorry, the panic button, even though it can save players, it can only be used one time. But without the wonder, is this just going to be like 3v1 into 2v1? And then 2v1 into 1v1? And then that 1v1 is just this crazy slaughter that... Could go on forever. I don't know. Uh, longer than the Fatsov games? What about the one on Giant Map with Relic for Gold Victory? That was uh, Free For All. So, like, Free For Alls obviously are excluded. And yes, longer than Fatsov games. And Purple's trying to figure out what exactly has happened here. But Purple's going to melt really quickly here, guys. Yeah, Free For All games are a different story. Especially those old Voobly Free For All games. Hmm. Yeah, so the player who we found in that Loey the Legend game had a game just a week or two prior. It was eight hours long. <laughs> just insane. Yeah, I I think this would be fun for King of the Hill, right, Xavier? But I don't really enjoy doing King of the Hill in most cases for community games unless there's like some other cool aspect. Like, I like... The monument to be a good side talking point with uh, like 10 times tech or something like that. So that's why we typically do King of the Hill for that. This definitely makes sense for King of the Hill, right? Because you everyone would run towards the middle. Very middle focused. But it's just taking these guys a little bit of time to get everything over here. Still trying to figure out though, is the speed thing a... Like is the speed thing a scenario thing or did Ray select the wrong speed? It's very weird that... I just now picked up on it, too. Like, we, we had so much of the game, and now I'm realizing the speed's a little slower. Purple's upset, and I, I kind of feel bad for Purple, because Purple had been through so much here. I think in the case of Teal and Green, they don't want to fight a neighbor. And in the case of Gray, I guess, like... I mean, I don't necessarily know Gray's reasoning beyond just wanting to go along with the rest of them. It didn't feel like lag, but I didn't check what speed it was. It was slow, though. Yeah, it is a little slower. I don't know. But I have no way to contact the players. I don't want to intervene here and remind them about the wonder situation, but 
That is something like if you ever play a community game, the wonder victory will always be a possibility if I have it my, my way, right? Um, it's always something to try. If you can't make a wonder, then it's gonna you're not gonna hear the wonder noise and you're not gonna hear the alert. So, or, or sorry, if you can't win with the wonder, so you could place it, you won't hear a noise, and then you just delete it. It's that simple. Always something to look into. Looks like one time speed instead of 1.66. Yeah, I mean, it says 1.1. I know normal speed is, I think it's, well, it says 1.7, but I think that's a roundup, right? So you might be right. It's 1.66. <clears throat> so here's a question. Um, would you guys be interested in a little video on the whole Age of Empires 2 speed thing? Because I think it'd be a really interesting little video. So basically, um, here's kind of the rundown. Per what I know, granted, I need to do a little bit more research if I'm going to make a video. And I could always show examples. But the original game, okay, said it was 1.5 times real-time speed. However, the original game was not 1.5 real-time speed. It was 1.7 times real-time speed, but it said 1.5 or something. I think that, again, I got to clarify these details. Um, and I also, you know, something I can add value to is I know the people to talk to, both at Microsoft and wherever else to get some of these nitty-gritty details of, like, specifics back in the day. So, then the HD edition came out in 2013. And if you never played the HD edition, there was a lot of examples of them not really having a clue this one I don't really cut I, I don't really um I can't fault them for too much because it's just so freaking confusing but anyways HD came out and they were like oh normal's 1.5 so their normal ended up being slower than classic and it was a really confusing thing for people because like normal speeds were actually different from each other and so uh as you know teal slowly progresses in here and man we're talking Ethiopian sea challengers this could be so so bad for teal's units if he's not careful <laughs> also i mean we do also have britain trev so we'll see um but yeah so like hd devs didn't have any clue and so it was 1.5 speed and then everyone all the competitive scene played on 1.7 and it was really jarring for people to switch and then obviously when de came out they they realized the situation at that point they had learned and so they have slow speed oh my god he just killed half of his own so um, he had, they have slow speed, they have normal speed, which is 1.5. No, 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 sorry. They have casual, which is 1.5. Then they have normal, which is 1.7. And then they have fast, which I think is 2. But yeah, like, it's kind of interesting how a whole freaking remaster of the game happened. And they didn't know it was an issue till after the game was already made, and obviously they never fixed it. Um, so the speed thing's always kind of interesting. Okay, buddy, buddy, buddies, says Purple. Now, remember, Purple doesn't have uh, access to the panic switch. Uh, other people do. So this, this trap is a panic switch. If you delete it, it kills everything from the enemies in your area. Teal's got one, Gray's got one, and Green's got one. So we have three panic switches remaining of the four players. Gray is... He's doing something that's kind of funny. I think he actually could have just deleted all of red stuff you can delete all of your allies buildings once they're defeated or once they're dead but i guess he's just kind of turned to eventually get shoot it all down which is fine too hmm t90 where can i download this map uh search for cliff arena there's a bunch of different versions i think it's just based on what mode you want to play so you have uh regicide you have king of the hill i think you have standard I think, if I recall, there's four options, but just download the mod and it'll give you all the options. But yeah, the in the event of Red's Fish Trap, uh, it is now dead at this point. Like, it won't, it's not possible to use it, at least based on the way it was explained. You could actually use a fishing ship to steal the fish trap, but you can't get to a fishing ship because you can't dock. And I wonder, can you convert fish traps? I don't actually know if you can. Anyways, Purple's trying to talk to these guys, and no one has really responded, and uh, it's it's a slow crawl here as they have to move over towards Purple's base, where Gray isn't exactly helping, by the way. It doesn't seem like Gray is interested. Gray's more interested in the long run. 
And maybe he's forgotten about all this pop over here. But, you know, it's slower speed and there's a lot of Ethiopian siege out there and neither player on either side wants to make a big mistake here with purple and teal. They don't want to lose all their archers or they don't want to lose all their siege, but you have to do something with Diplo here if you're purple. There's no way that this can continue and you're going to survive. So maybe try talking a little bit more. Uh, can't an ally of red delete the fish trap? Yeah, that's what I thought, but it doesn't, once the guy's dead, it, it doesn't work, but that's obviously a really good thought. But yeah, the fish trap idea, the panic switch idea, I really want to use in other maps. What do you guys think about that? It's a really cool concept. We have used Exploding Kings a lot. I mean, we've used a million different things. But I think that one of the better it's one of the better additions we could maybe mix into community games that we haven't tried yet. Oh, and there's a wonder! Wait! But I don't know if Wonder Victory actually works because there should be a pop-up here. Hold on, I have to go into the game? Dude, Wonder Victory does not work. Also, this is so laggy, oh my god! I don't think the Wonder Victory works here, Xavier. So, Purple deletes the Wonder now. And he's gonna rebuild it so we can fit more Vils around it? Okay, that I guess that's fair. But normally, Capture Age picks up if Wonder's actually wor Wonder Victory's actually working. And the game should show something as well. It should say like 0%, 1%, 2%, 3%. So I think even though Ray has done a lot wrong, if you know that meme, I think he was actually correct with that assessment. So wonder victory not possible here. Purple falling all the way into the back corner with so many siege onagers. But again, like from Purple's perspective, if these units can stop, they're doing the wonder dance. They're like... We have to do our ceremonial dance on the Wonder Foundation before we build it. Our Lord requires it. And they're, they hear the shots from the side. They're like, that is our God. Blah, 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 blah. Purple, come on, man. <laughs> the people are ready to build the Wonder. Move. <laughs> oh, man. Well, anyways, for future reference, if you guys uh, ever are in this situation, if you want to know if Wonder Victory works, you don't even have to go by what I say or whatever else is happening. Literally, just see... Still isn't building it. Just see if there's a noise and anything that shows on the screen once you start building it. And he deletes his villagers now. So that's like also like a blood sacrifice. That's also very standard for this type of thing. But yeah, it avoids this potential problem where now purple's going to complete the wonder and realize, oh crap, it doesn't do anything. Oh, but that's easy for me to say because I've been doing this for so long. It's not very easy for you guys to pick up on, especially when you have three different people attacking you. And Gray finally is going to contribute. Gray's going to cut through. <laughs> it's like these guys, like, what if they could build with their little swords, you know? <laughs> also, their bodies are... <laughs> the torsos of their friends are in part of the foundation. While well, Purple sees the writing is on the wall, guys. If you look at that wall, you'll see that writing. It says, this was fun, y'all. Thanks for the first game. Purple just going to give it up here, I guess. I would really like to see Purple use these Siege Onagers to try and flatten Longbows first, though. I mean, the worst that happens is you lose all the Siege Onagers. Either way, you're dead, right? Look at the spam from green. Just this massive green line right through the middle. That's pretty sick. Teutonic Knights, even slower. The game's running a little bit slower for whatever reason. I hope you all are best buddy for life, says Purple. Well, I disagree with that. I would like to see them kill each other. Otherwise, I'll be here for a lot longer than I was planning on. And Grace is yes. And, oh, Warwolf Treb Shot. Warwolf Treb Shot. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Warwolf Treb Shot. Go, 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 go. You can do it, Trebuchets. I think he's hitting the TC. Don't get excited. He's he's not going after the, the onagers. He's going after the buildings. Come on, Warwolf. Come on, man. That'd be so sick. Because they're all they're all so close together. Boom! Big shot. Nice defense there from purple. I have to assume Warwolf is already in from Teal. Oh, there we go. There's an attempt. 
Oh! <laughs> Let's go! It worked. It worked pretty well as well. A lot of those SOs went down. And there's another big shot. The purple's... He, he played a really good game. He's probably hoping he can at least complete the wonder before he dies. And I can't really blame him. It also gives time for the other players to plot what they're going to do next. And right now, I'm not really that certain. I think Nick's in the best defensive position because Nick doesn't have anyone immediately around him. But that... I, I don't know. That also could be a negative because I think it's really easy for Green and Teal to decide to just stay together because they're bordering each other. Actually, wait a second. Oh, Gray and Teal are at each other's throats right now. Oh, Gray is actually making a move. Okay. So that happened before Purple ended up going down, which is always one of the best moves you can make. And that will allow Purple to complete the wonder and stay in the game a little bit longer. You can tell here that Teal's freaking out about it, and Teal wasn't exactly expecting this. And Green is thinking, so we go for Teal next, Gray, and Gray's already on it. So good work there, I guess, from Gray. That means Purple could actually stay in the game a lot longer, though. Yes. My army is on Purple, though, but I see you're attacking him. Yep. Hmm. Again, a big error from Gray in this game is that he could have deleted all of Red's buildings. I mean, not a big error, but I mean, if you wanted to clear out space, you could have done that stuff a long time ago, right? Oh, God, no! Purple's adding more TCs! Ah, oh, he's he's not gonna leave. <laughs> oh no, purple's gonna come back for the third time. <laughs> purple's like, all right, let's go. We've done this before. We're gonna have a wonder. <laughs> JD is immortal. And there's the there's the beautiful wonder there for the Ethiopians. You don't get to see that every day. Saved by the freaking bell, but like. It's really tricky from Gray's perspective because the best way to get a lead over Teal and surprise Teal is by doing precisely what he just did. Is going before the other guys expected. So that that aspect of it is smart. But if obviously if like purple comes back later on to haunt him, you will look and say it was a mistake from Gray. So there's always pros and cons. Um, I think green should just be finishing off purple here. And then green actually should benefit from the fact that these two are at each other's throats. Because like he doesn't have he doesn't have to deal with those two, and those two are just fighting a one v one, and they're damaging each other. Also, still gold in the middle, which Gray seems to have secured. I want to look at stockpiles right now. Yeah, there's not a ton of gold income, but you can see that Green has tons, Gray has tons, and then Sneezy has whatever relics are there, which doesn't seem like too many, probably just two, and that's it. Ray is here now. Ray, how was your drug test, bro? Did you pass? <laughs> Welcome. Ray, you just died five minutes ago. It was a crazy thing. Your unit survived for so long. You're definitely going to have to rewatch that. You definitely didn't die right away. Yeah, I don't know if Purple can actually survive this, though. As, as excited as I got over the possibility of Purple rebooming for the third time, I think Purple is actually going to lose now. Um, losing all the siege onagers, we'll lose the villagers, we'll lose the town centers. Meanwhile, over here, it kind of feels like Teal is pushing back Dre. Britain should win the Trebor. Teutons are obviously very difficult to push, though. Teuton castles are no joke. Green is a bully, says Purple. Well, yellow was a bully. Blue was a bully. Uh, those things, I think, are accurate. I wouldn't consider green a bully. And now you have Ivan saying, I'll finish purple and then go help. So he's saying this to Teal. So he's saying like, hey, I've got your back. Let me just finish off purple real quick. This guy won't shut up. I like how purple went from GG, guys. Great, great comedy game. Well played. Great job, guys. We really had a good time. Respect. Like he was going to call the GG. And then all of a sudden he's like, he genuinely would have reboomed back into this game. And now he goes... Green is a bully. I hope he loses. Okay, I thought he said dies. Obviously, he even if he said dies, he'd be talking about in the game, but... There's Gray with the wonder, so that'll be wonder number two. And 
the Wonder Victory still is not possible. It does not work. Uh, apparently, Wonder is, is possible in the new version. Okay, good to know. Good to know. But in this particular game, we've got no Wonder possibilities. If there were Siege Workshops here from Teal, like if Teal had... Or not Teal, sorry, Green. And he had the potential to go for Siege Rams. I think that he'd be my favorite. Because I think that Britons are a really tough matchup for Tootin. So I, I think that Teal's going to continue to push back Gray. But the Hussar spam with Rams could be so good against the Britons. Don't you have other things to do, Green? Says Purple. Well, yeah, he does. But after he kills your king. And your king is now dead. GG, Purple. The other things that he needs to attend to are on the other side of the map. So Green's going to head over there now. All right. So we've got <laughs> we've got Ray back in business. Ray's back in the chat. It was I think like even you know drug test or no drug test for Ray. I think it was really ambitious how he played it, and he was teamed up with a player who was really aggressive against everybody else. So it probably wouldn't have lasted too long for them. Pathing on the trade card still seems to be an issue in this game. I've noticed, but there is some trade running. And Green has told Teal, I'm going to come help you. And is now telling Gray, I'm going to come help you. So Green is playing both sides at the moment, guys. And we're down to three, just past the two hour mark. Red, obviously, uh, his king is already dead. Uh, or sorry, he's already defeated. So pay no attention to the alerts there, really, even though the king is out there. Green says, I need to build siege just one minute. You know, something that just dawned on me, though, as far as the speed goes in this game, isn't that part of the scenario setting? Or is that part of the lobby setting? I'm still a little weirded out by the speed because we never have this being an issue. I think that might be a scenario thing. Certainly something to look into as well, Xavier. I, I, I probably should have done fast speed with how, how big the map is in the first place. I went against my instincts there because I thought the wonder victory would work. Waiting to see these 29 stables spam away. And again, I think in combination with Rams, it could give Britain some big problems. Yes, yeah, speed should have been fast, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> well, I think, like, the thing about uh, Wonder Victory is that Wonder Victory typically makes it so things have this shift. So you have these people that are in a stalemate game. Boom, Wonder goes up. Everyone says... We have to switch and target that guy. Or I have to make my own wonder. So wonder victory kind of negates that problem on more close maps. But it is what it is, right? And it's apparently a lobby thing. I gotcha. So so Ray Ray is to blame, is what we're saying. <laughs> Whoa, it just got faster. Whoa, what the crap? It's a 1.7 speed now. What? I didn't touch anything. <laughs> was it purple's pc <laughs> what well now it's slowing down again it must be it must be the computers can't handle it that's so weird because capture age had 1.7 for a second and now it's down to 1.1 again and if i keep it at like two times speed it doesn't go any faster so if i had to guess it it's just due to the sheer amount of stuff happening in the game it's melting someone's computer at the moment. So, or or Capture Age can't handle it, which is a possibility too. I don't know. That was funny. So we're, we're kind of, we got a taste of normalcy and we're back in business now. And, and Sneezy's asking for Green. Green is not helping anybody, FYI. Green is just simply letting these two duke it out. And you've got Ivan now turning on Teal. And Teal's his buddies forever, but it's too late for that, man. The Winged Hussars are coming to town, yeah. Now, I wonder how Poles would do against Teutons in a straight-up battle. I feel like Poles get shredded by Teutons in a straight-up battle. Am I wrong or am I right on that, guys? So I think this is kind of how the whole uh, food chain works here. I think you have Britons good against Teutons. Teutons good against Poles. Poles good against Britons. So actually, I think what would have made more sense for Green if Green wanted to win 
is I think green should have teamed alongside teal to push gray and then later on would go up against Britons. I think. And teal now says you can't beat Teutons. And now green says can't beat archers either, though. Interesting. And now we're, you know, things have sped up a little bit more. So, okay, we got some speed changes from time to time. I mean, <clears throat> I disagree, though. I think that the biggest weakness of Britons is Siege Ram. And I think if you combine Siege Rams with the Hussars, I think it'd actually be really good. But yeah, an issue for the Poles is they don't get the final armor upgrade, obviously. And it really seems like, at the moment, Teal's trying to give Green a chance. And Teal is still okay with, with Green deciding to go back and uh, team alongside him here. He says, but I've been with you from the start. Why not me and you top two? And Green just frowns and continues to massacre the middle position here. Hmm. None of the Civs get Siege Ram? I thought Poles got Siege Ram. Poles, I don't think Poles should get Siege Ram. But I've never thought Poles should get a couple things they have. I'm pretty sure they get Siege Ram. You just never see it. Unless I'm stupid. It is possible I'm wrong on that. I know Teutons don't. And I know Britons don't. That Those are I'm 100% on. Poles, I was like 72.6% uh, certain they got Siege Ram. Yeah, they, they do get Seedram. Can't bring myself to enemy uses, Teal. <laughs> Teal still can't enemy green. It's a good tactic. It's a very good tactic to say that. Gray's laughing at that. Yeah, Poles get Seedram. I was forced by circumstance, says Green, who's been playing both sides. I'm playing it like a fiddle here. And I think for Teal, you now just have kind of a population problem, right? Um, there's just going to be so much army up against you here. You're good, JD. <clears throat> Sorry, I make mistakes all the time. You are stronger than the circumstances. It's Teal. Teal still doesn't want to have this be a thing. Remember MBL's wise words. Wow, I've never heard MBL and wise words in the same sentence. This is a war game. <laughs> True. <laughs> what a quote. I believe in you. Gray doesn't. This is like the fifth time now that Teal has tried to say green, come back to me. Gray doesn't believe in you. I do, even though you're killing me right now. Green doesn't want to hear it. Okay. Yeah, you never, you don't really see Poles go Siege Ram because the game never really gets to that stage. They normally just overrun somebody or they can never get their eco rolling in the early stages. Um, and, you know, they struggle. Um, but their late game is already one of the best, I think, with their farms and with their Hussars. Um, obviously a little awkward, right? Because they don't have the best skirms. They don't get Halberdier, but the Siege Ram edition is obviously huge. I'll give you the win, I promise. Attempt number six now. But let's get Gray. And Gray can see all this, by the way. Gray's not saying anything. Gray is just fortifying the middle where all the gold is. Gray's been really smart about that. And Gray's just laughing. Neither of us can beat Tootins alone. <laughs> Attempt number seven. <laughs> oh god, I just kicked my desk. Ow. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> mm. Laugh again, please, says Teal. Ooh, some spice. Some spice. Teal's like, give me more motivation to kick your butt. Let's go. Now that I like, smiley face. Wait a second. They're friends. They're friends again. They're buddies. Unless Green is just taking advantage of Teal's friendship to run in. Like, this is weird because Gray is actually taking out the gate and Green's still standing here. And now Green turns on Gray. Okay. So, Sneezy's attempt to bring Green back over to the... To the light side? <laughs> to the good side? <laughs> it has worked. And Nick is now 1v2. And now the speed changes and the whole world rejoices. 
Interesting. Well, a really good Diplo there from Sneezy. And I think Diplo... I, I think he was actually correct. I think that... Well, I don't know if neither of them can kill Tootins alone, but... There's just... The map's too big, there's too many resources, and the game's running slow for some reason, so this is gonna take forever. And Gray's not happy. He says, wow, it's gonna be like that, question mark? And Sneezy says, yeah, it's gonna be like that. This is my man. And Ivan says, he's a sweet talker. All right. I may have added some words in there to make this a little more interesting. And Sneezy smiles, so Sneezy's happy. All right. Tootins are slow, man, and I don't know if Tootins have the ability to push 1v2. But I am going to check the stockpiles again. And uh, you've got 24k gold for green, which is way higher than everybody else. In fact, the other players in the top three here aren't even alive. Also, Gray has 15k stone. All right, well, that's, uh, that's going to lead to quite a few more castles. He does have lots of Bombard Towers, uh, as well as the castles over here, and his Wonder. But Teal can slowly push over this way. Also, there's two re three relics, actually, there that someone should probably get. Hmm. Few powers are stronger than a promise of glory. Oh, what a quote. What a quote. That's the YouTube title right there. If I remember it, which I probably won't because I suck. But I'm going to press this button on my editing screen. That will remind Hardy to look at that. And then Hardy's going to say, hey, T90, we should put that as the title possibly if this goes to YouTube. Thank you. Do you want to rethink your choice screen? So that clearly was meant to say rethink. But you've got a sweet talk, okay? Oh, God, they're both going to try and sway green. I will give you a second chance. Now, it took Teal seven times. <laughs> Dude, I love Sneezy. Sneezy's keeping me in this game, man. Sneezy says, you're literally dying. <laughs> so, it's a 2v1. Sneezy, you were in a 2v1 before. You were in a 2v1. And you talked your way out of it like a god. And now Sneezy's just like, yeah, great, give up. You're literally dying. Don't think you're in a place to give second chances. <laughs> oh, I love Sneezy. Sneezy's the best. Because, you know, these words, they're going to instill confidence in Green, too. Because Green's going to be like, yeah, that's right. I chose the right side. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, me and Sneezy. And Grace just says the guy that was begging two seconds ago. All right, see... Fair comeback. I like how Green is just sitting here like the cool kid in class. Like, wow, everyone wants to be on my team. Whoa. I used to get picked last for dodgeball, and now look at me, Mom. As Sneezy says, no longer begging, though. Hmm. See, this is true. This is very true. Now, Olbuth, they shred armor, and the benefit of Teutonic Knights is that they have a lot of armor. Uh, so I feel like the old book should be r pretty decent here. Uh, we'll see how many, you know, units are actually there. Obviously, Gray's still got to deal with some other things, and Gray's moving the king now towards the middle, I think. Because he, he probably realizes that Teal's making progress here. We'll see how the fight goes. I don't know, I still feel like Gray has just so many units. It's the attack on Teutonic Knights is way higher than an old book, so I don't know if the Shredding Armor actually is that good against Teutonic Knights. I guess if you had some other units in the mix, it might be a little better, but yeah, Gray's still fine. Teutonic Knights are still insane. I think, like, Gray should definitely be considering just continuing this, though, and, and eventually whittling that down because you have Teal pushing on the other side. And Ivan says, we got to join up. I'm nothing but a meat shield. Well, meat shield can be helpful. And I think they're making progress. It just doesn't feel like they are because they have such a crazy task ahead of them here. Nepals do get Arbalest. They do get Seed Ram, things we talked about before. Um, so you could always do that. You could also mix in Bombard Cannons. You could also go for Cavalier, right? And there's Gray's King. Tell me Gray no... <gasps> oh my god. Uh, he set the gather point for all of his castles forward because he needs all of his Teutonic Knights here. 
Guys, where's Waldo? One of these two things is not alike. Where's Waldo? Can you find him? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, he could kind of pass as a Teutonic Knight. He doesn't have the helmet. He's got a crown, but it's similar, right? He doesn't have the little cross on his back, which is sad, but he just, he didn't want to be king, okay? He never wanted to be a king. He just got passed down to him, and then he kind of had to because that's the way society works. He wanted to be a Teutonic Knight, so dang it, he's going to be a Teutonic Knight. Now, I don't know if Gray can notice that. Like, if you're not looking for it, that's kind of tricky. It's easy for us because we've got capture aid showing us on the mini map and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, they told him he wasn't tall enough and he said, screw you, right? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> You'd have no clue if you're playing the game. Now, I think what will happen, though, is Gray's going to go to fight. And so I think kings can't take patrol commands or any type of like game command. So if you grab like 50 units and one of them can't do a patrol command, I think you can't do that command with all of them. So it is possible that Gray realizes if he's experienced that his units aren't moving or being commanded the right way. Granted, he's talking right now and he says, I will be frank. I can't find my king. <laughs> well, at least he knows his king is hiding somewhere. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. This is funny. I'm really glad we didn't leave this game. <laughs> the whole speed thing really had me rolling for a second there. Okay, so he knows the king is out there, so it's legitimately a Where's Waldo situation. And Gray signals it and says, right there. What are you doing? Or not, not Gray. Teal does, says you can hide him. Way to ruin our game. Uh, Gray might not believe it, to be fair. So Teal had researched treason and signaled it. And now does Green actually think that's there? Is Green like, really? <laughs> okay. Moment of truth for the king. Will he actually fight like a Teutonic Knight? Does Green notice it? Does Gray notice it? Uh, Old looks in front. The longbow's on the way. The hussars are there as well. The king is just chilling out. And, uh, it's moving. It's still moving. It's because of the splash damage, though. And it's going to die. And that's going to be the end there for Nick Golfs. And that was a funny finish there. Uh, Nick is going to be kicking himself for that one. It's a classic Diplo mistake. Uh, that's why a lot of people will put their kings in towers instead of castles so they don't make that mistake. GG. GG, though. Very well played from Gray this game. And Grace still doesn't know. Grace says, where was my king? Oh, man. If you only knew. It's one of those things, too, you rewatch, and you're like, man, such an idiot. Ah. Okay, Sneezy says, well, I promised. I don't remember what Sneezy promised. And Sneezy says, meet me in the middle. All right, so Sneezy's going to send the king to the middle. Now the game's super fast all of a sudden. It's super speedy. Green is literally get, getting rewarded for betraying Teal's trust, but then coming back to Teal. And Sneezy says, you deserve this. I'm not necessarily sure that either player here deserved it more or less than the other. I thought they played, both played a really good game. Um, they both had you know, amazing strategy and overall teamwork when it mattered. King en en route here, and uh, obviously, I assume this is just going to be a gifted kill here. Green hasn't really head uh, sent the king out towards the middle. We're back to 1.2 speed, which is super confusing. Sorry about that. The king did a little dance there, not knowing he's coming out to die. He just gets to leave his castle for the first time in 30 years, so he's trying to stretch his legs. But a great game, and... Green says it's been a good fight. I don't think Green's really going to complain about taking the victory. But pretty admirable from Sneezy to not want to go fight here because I think there are arguments to be made that Britons could be the better Civ as long as you're not seeing the Siege Ram that I thought could be strong from the polls. It was send me out with a bang. And Green says GG well played, my friend. So yeah, Green's going to get the victory here.
I'll be honest, in most cases, we really like to see Teal and Green duke it out a little bit and actually fight. That 1v1 duel can sometimes be a greater sign of respect than any, but also this game has gone on for a very long time. So it ends there, and it was a good game. Uh, Green made quite a few wing tussars this game, and he takes the win. He ended up killing Yellow, if you recall. He also ended up killing Purple, and then killed his buddy, his pal, Teal. MVP of the game? Well, it's maybe hard to call one. I think everyone played a different part in this story, so thanks to the players who played a new map, new settings. I definitely think there's tweaks that I would make to this. But again, shout out to Clift Arena if you want to search for it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, especially now that the Wonder Victory thing will be fixed, but I thought Sneezy was pretty cool, man. The chat near the end there with Sneezy was hilarious. Sneezy probably would have been the one to die instead of Gray if Sneezy wouldn't have tried and tried again to bring Green in. And then obviously respected Green enough to be able to give Green the victory there. Here's a look at the KD this game. Uh, it was Nick Golfs with the most kills and well, actually pretty close there on the fewest deaths as well. Two to one KD there for Gray. Uh, economically, there wasn't a ton of trade, but you know, every little bit counted. And then you also had Relic income, but then just gold collection in the middle. Man, Ray has been gone from the game for a very long period of time here. And he had 85,000 gold collected. Very long game. So here's the deal. So in terms of the map, I'm going to give my rating on the map because I like to, to give, you know, thoughts. And then obviously map maker couldn't decide what to do in the future. Here's my perspective. I was absolutely spot on, way too big for a diplomacy map. And a standard free-for-all would be even worse. I think the games would go on for longer than I would like. Um, or at least, like, players are a little restricted in terms of what they can do. Um, it would probably be a perfect King of the Hill map because of the direct paths towards the center. Uh, actually, what I really like is the... I think the fish trap thing could be really cool because sometimes in King of the Hill games, you have the... Like, some players attacking the other's bases. So having the ability to, like, protect your own base in a pinch would be really cool. The panic switch, the panic button in general is something that I might want to implement in normal maps. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm wondering, though, if there's maybe a way to make it so the panic switch somehow... Like, I guess, like, the only negative to using the panic switch as it stands is you just don't have a panic switch left. So I wonder if there'd be a way to, like, buy a panic switch. Does anyone like that idea? Like, if you're booming... And you know you'll probably be attacked later. If you could, like, buy panic switches? I don't know if this is scriptable, but that would actually be pretty interesting. Because there's, like, pros and cons to it. Con obviously meaning that you don't have as many resources to fight for whatever else. Now, that could also be a, a slippery slope, too, depending on how things go. <laughs> but it's just an idea. And I, I like the panic switch thing because it's now make, getting my mind working. And I really like the symmetry of the map. And I thought it was pretty cool. Obviously, if Wonder Victory is possible, the game also probably goes on a little bit shorter. And for whatever reason, the speed was weird here too. So we had a couple kinks, um, but it was a cool map and I enjoyed it. Um, GG, everybody who played the game. Hope everyone enjoyed playing and watching this one. As always, more content will come eventually. Actually, not eventually. We have videos all the freaking time. We have videos all the time on YouTube. Combination of all these different settings, uh, whether it's low elo community games or high elo and tournament stuff and then i've had people catching on to my ttl extra or, pff, sorry my t90 extras youtube channel and i got a bunch of comments today and people were like did t90 get a new channel is the old channel dead what's happening no there's just content everywhere all the time so to anyone who watches it supports it yada yada i appreciate you and i'll keep working hard for you uh and then maybe you can be like ray and you can uh well i guess he made his uh <laughs> Maybe you wouldn't be like Ray, but you'd be like Yellow, and you'll be so addicted that you'll be playing in a community game or watching the content instead of working. Uh, well played, Yellow. I didn't forget about that.